Prosecutors in the Patrick Frazee trial saved their biggest bombshell for last. Meanwhile, the defense barely bothered to show up at all. Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski was in the courtroom for the final day of testimony. The day started with an expert in bloodstains and ended with an inmate's potentially game-changing testimony. He describes how he says Frazee asked him to kill several key witnesses in the case. After that testimony, the defense rests its case without calling a single witness. The Teller County rancher listened intently as prosecutors saved their strongest evidence for last. Patrick Frazee is accused of brutally killing his fiance Kelsey Barrett. On the prosecution's final day of testimony, a bloodstain expert takes the stand first. He said the blood found in Barra's condo is consistent with an attack from a baseball bat. And this is more than a drop of blood. This is a lot of blood. Jonathan Priest also testifies Barra's body could have fit in the black tote. Then comes the prosecution's bombshell. A former inmate, the DA is asking us not to name because he fears retaliation from a prison gang, takes the stand. He says Frazee wrote him 17 handwritten notes asking him to murder key witnesses, including Crystal Lee Kenny. The letters say things like, was thinking if you could cap them in the desert. Another is even more specific. I would really like to see Crystal with a bullet in her head. The notes have names, numbers, and locations of key witnesses in Frazee's case. The state's lead investigator read all 17 letters inside the courtroom Friday. Meanwhile, the defense fires back, saying the inmate is a convicted felon. And they try to claim that he saw this as his ticket out of other crimes he's accused of committing. The jury could get the case and decide Frazee's fate as early as next week. Closing arguments are now set to start first thing Monday morning. We're in Teller County. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7.